when we say consisting of the message of God, it means we believe in God. We believe in a personality that exists but could not be seen. So, this is the first uh, foundation of all uh, script, all books that believe in God. Even you don't uh, see, even you don't uh, be able to touch, even you don't have a specific picture in your mind how big or how short or how is he, but you have to be in a way he is the ultimate, he is supreme, he is powerful, he has full knowledge, he does not have any weakness as human being uh, has weakness. So, he is the one who has created the whole universe. He is the one who has created the human being. He is the one who has appointed the prophet. And he is the one who has given this message to them to convey to the other human beings. So, first is the concept of God. Before believing or understanding the holy text. The second, let's see what is the purpose of the creation of man. Whether it is an accident or it is a plan, the creation of human being. When we look around and we think again and again, we found the human being, mankind, is the best creation among all other creations, among all other creatures. So the human being is the best in a way they have been given the title Khalifatullah who are acting uh, as God wanted to be to act and they are uh, assigned some duties and responsibilities. As compared to the other creatures, they have a fixed uh, way of life. They cannot uh, go from that point or uh, way of life. Human being, they have been given more qualities, more powers, and more uh, intelligence, speaking power. So on that we can understand they are special one and they are the best among all million and billions of creatures. So this is the second thing. But what is the purpose of the creation? The purpose of the creation of human beings as we knew from the message of God is to serve God. I have only created jinns and men that they may serve me. This is a passage a quotation of uh, God in the Holy Book Quran. The similar message you can find in the Bible. So, there is no difference in, in believing in God. There is no difference the creation of human being being a best creation among all others. And the third, there is no difference that uh, uh, human beings are bound to please to God. You can give different words for that uh, purpose. You can say the man has been created to please God. The man has been created to serve God. The man has been created to act as God wanted to him to be acted. So there are different words. So when we believe that God has, God is the only 
supreme authority and God is the only who has created us. Yes? God, God, God has the power, all kind of power to create, to destroy the things, universe. So God has a plan to create a human being for his introduction or for his services. So when human being is created, now God says the purpose of their creation is to serve him, to worship him. So how they worship? What is the services? How they serve to God? So these kind of questions are raised. So to answer these questions, God has sent his prophet. And they are not sent from the heaven. They were among the human beings. But God appointed them to convey his message to mankind. So what the message that he gave them that is compiled in later stage that is called the Holy Script or the Holy Books. So, so one, we have been created for a purpose and how we to serve appointment of the prophets among the people to teach them the way of his service. So we look at the Quran. Quran says there is no single city or no single village where we have not sent our uh, representative to them. And the terms is used to in the Holy Book Quran is Nazir. Nazir means warner who warns the people be on right path. Otherwise you have to face consequences. So the word Nazir is used in the Holy Book Quran for the prophets. In English we say prophet are messengers, although the word prophet does not give the complete meaning of Nabi or Rasul. These are two words that is used in the Holy Book Quran. But you, the prophet, what is the meaning of the prophet? Prophet who gives prophet, uh, prediction. It is not a complete meaning of Nabi. And it does not show the, his link with God. However, this is commonly used this word uh, for the, the word prophet. So God has and God has said another verse of the Quran. Ma kana li basharin an yukallima Allahu illa wahyan aw min wara'i hijabin aw yusila rasulan fa yuhliya bi idhnihi ma yasha. Allah, God, does not speak to any human being accept and you can live accept through wahi what is the wahi i will elaborate means the message through an angel or means god does not speak to each and every person but god conveys his message to each and every person through the prophets Rasul, messengers. So they are, <coughs> so here no one can claim I am a messenger of God. So it is God who decides to whom this prophethood should be given. It is not based on some practices or exercise or knowledge that I, I got this degree, now I deserve to be prophet. No that I have worshipped God so much, so I deserve to be prophet. No. Or I belong to such a family, or such blood, so I deserve to be prophet. No. Allah, God has said that it is His uh, decision to whom He should appoint. But when He appoints, He gives some sign. So how we know? There are many people who claim that they are the prophet, 
even nowadays in recent years and maybe in the future many people will come and say that we are the prophet we are sent by God so for them how we recognize they are the prophet they are the messengers so God always gives them some signs <coughs> miracles that prove that they are the prophet of God they are the messenger of God so God has sent one thing that there is no city or area that is left without the prophet God, so God has sent his prophet in a different period of time so when prophet comes then he always conveys God's message to them so then prophets are two types one prophet who received the message from God and he conveys God's message to, to the people another is God appoint a person and the message was given to some previous prophets and that message uh, was the alive message that has the power to be implemented to be conveyed to the people for their benefit but the people at that time they forget uh, the, mess, the, the message of previous prophets so God appoint another person as a prophet he conveys that message to mankind so these are two types of prophets one type is called Nabi and other type is called Rasul Rasul means who receives the new message from God Nabi who conveys the message of God that was given to some other previous prophets so this is the difference I can give you some, one example like God has given uh, the book to Moses and after Moses there were many prophets in his offspring or in his family uh, in the children of Israel they were not given new book they were not given new message their duty and responsibility was just to convey and to uh, implement the message that was given to prophet Moses so this is the difference so here in this verse you see and God says verily we have sent you in truth means o prophet Muhammad as a barrier of a glad tidings and as a warner and then never was a never was a people without a warner having lived among them in the past but how we know who, who is the prophet whether any area some prophet come or not for that Quran has said there are some stories that we have mentioned in, in the book but there are many prophets that we have not mentioned their stories some narration a prophet Muhammad indicates that God has sent 124,000 prophets in a different period of times to different parts of the world but mostly uh, the stories of the previous prophets are discussed they are mostly living in Middle East uh, around Middle East the reason Quran was sent down to Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad belonged to Makkah and his first addressee were the people of Arab Peninsula so that is why God has mentioned in his book the stories that the, uh, the, uh, the stories of the area that are around Makkah and also Moses and Jesus they came in this part of the world in Middle East so second thing we found from 
holy book Quran that God has given some message uh, to his prophets and some messages are God sort of the plural of the Sahifa and some message uh, of God's book so as for as the concern of the book there are four and so of there are many in hundreds God has indicated uh, in Holy Book Quran in Surah Al-A'la and this is in the books of earliest revelation the books of Abraham and Moses and book of Moses we know that is Torah Old Testament as Christian says and the books are the booklets were given to Abraham that we don't see nowadays but Quran has indicated in the in the uh, in Surah Al-Ala Suhufi Ibrahim wa Musa so about the previous books one of uh, article of faith is believing in the books and this is uh, part of our faith we have to believe in God the first and the most important we have to believe in angels we have to believe in prophets we have to believe in books so leaving the others believing in the books means that God gave books to prophets so we believe in the prophets that they receive message from God and that message was uh, a message of success if someone implement and that message was a true, me true message from Allah so in this verse you see it is he who sent down to you uh, step by step into the book confirming what went before it and he sent down the laws of Moses and the gospel of Jesus before this as a guide to mankind and he sent down the uh, criterion of judgment between right and wrong so this was indicated two books Torah and Inji Torah was given to Prophet Moses and Injil is given to Prophet Jesus. We will discuss how it was given and how it uh, uh, transferred from Moses to his followers, from his followers uh, to the next generation. We will discuss later. Another book has been indicated the book of uh, uh, Zabur or Psalm given to Prophet David. We have sent uh, you inspiration as we sent it to Noah. That this was also indicate the message was given to Prophet Noah, and Prophet Noah is uh, considered as the second Adam because uh, after big flood, when most of the people were died or killed, so a new uh, generation, a new people. Uh, raised up from uh, Noah and the messengers after him we sent inspiration to Abraham, Ismail, Isaac, Jabu and tribes to Jesus, uh, Job, John, Aaron and Solomon and the David we gave them Psalms means the book there are, these are three books and if you study the, the uh, combination of these three books are called Bible Torah Torah is uh, considered as book of laws Sharia and uh, Psalm Zabur this is consisting of praise of God uh, Muhammad Arhamd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, Hazrat Dawood used to uh, praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it is mentioned in the Quran as he start to uh, recite 
the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the mountain and the birds join him in praising of Allah, in praising of God. And Injil is uh, consisting of uh, advices, some uh, related to morality. So these are three books and it is called the Bible. Now we talk about the Quran. Quran, as we consider, it is the final message of God. It is the final book. It is the book that uh, is uh, complete code of life. This is a book that has consisting, and uh, uh, this book is consisting of the message that was given to previous prophet and uh, to prophet Muhammad and it is uh, enough for the guidance, spiritual guidance of mankind. And this is the latest version of the message of God. So we have to see the definition of Quran. So we always say Quran, Quran, Quran. If you ask what is the Quran, some say it's the holy book, some say it's the book of uh, uh, Muslims or book of Muhammad and many things. But the definition of the Quran should be understood and carefully and the Arabic speech, Kalamullah. And actually the word is Kalam, the word in Arabic. Kalamullah that was revealed al munassal ila Rasul. That was revealed to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam both in word and in meaning means uh, the word of God that revealed to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in 23 years of period and that Quran is uh, consisting of word and meaning both and it is collected between the two covers of Mus'haf Mus'haf is called the Quran means uh, in a shape in a shape of book not like a tablet not like a stone so it is a book between two covers narrated in mutawatir chains mutawatir is a terms means uh, prophet muhammad received the message and he conveyed to his companion and from the companion and Muhammad, it conveyed to the other people in many uh, ways and in from the many people. Mutawatir is a term means that it has been conveyed by so many people that that they are uh, they are not uh, capable to tell a lie or to change it. That is called mutawatir. So it is impossible, like today if someone denies 9-11 incident, so the, the, uh, you can say he's mad. He, he is denying a fact that is uh, accepted by everyone. Or like uh, sun rising, if someone says no, sun is set now at this time. So these are the things that uh, so Quran in today what we have it has been conveying from one generation to other from one group of people to other in uh, in 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 a so high numbers of the people that it is impossible for them to to gather on on telling a lie so this is called mutawatir and it is a challenge to mankind. Challenge to mankind means that uh, this is the world.